Hi, suppose you want to create an optimized system for a very specific workload. Then you would have to make many different design decisions. And for workloads consisting of more than one query, this becomes a very, very hard problem. So usually you would fall back to what we already know. For example, we know that there are two very efficient paradigms that have their own advantages and disadvantages. So say data centric and vectorized. But the open question is, can we actually have more than that? Can, and how do they interact with other features? Can we improve them? Do they get worse? And how does this perform in other hardware? The hardware angle we looked into uh, in our ADMS paper or in presentation. And here we focus on the interaction with other techniques or paradigms. So for example, would hybrids be better than data-centric and vectorized? We don't really know. How could we figure this out? So typically, okay, we made some design decisions. Typically we have to invent a prototype. So that means either hand running a bunch of queries or that means developing some more generic engine. Then we can do some experimentation on that, get some new knowledge and maybe iterate stuff again. So this means if you have a handful of queries and say we need one week per query. That means that we already use more than a month of time. And for a more specific and uh, for more generic engine, this might be multiple months to years. The problem with this is that due to the high initial investment and eventually low success rate, we get a very, very bad risk reward trade off for this exploration venture. Why is the success rate low? because we know some pretty good points already and this design space is huge. So if you want to fully explore it, it will take a very, very, very long time. So consequently, the space is completely underexplored. So what we know is a handful of points and its neighborhood. Our understanding is rules of thumb. So if you have a lot of joints, maybe you should use vectorized processing. In other cases, use data centric. And the other problem is that we are stuck in a vicious cycle of small improvements because it's way easier to add prefetching to let's say hyper vectorize and improve it a little bit, then go into a completely separate new point. So this means we only discover the neighborhood further. And we argue that this is time for a change. How about we streamline this whole discovery process? So we automate it. Somehow we get some design choices from some specification, have a very flexible code generator, and some experimentation framework that runs our experiments for us. So if you assume this, then we have a substantially faster discovery process. But it doesn't come for free. There are certain challenges there. Challenge one, how can we actually factor, factor different specific details out of there? So what we want is the essence of what a query needs to do, but without actually spelling out the implementation details like your SIMD or vectorized execution for this. And the second part is how can we actually synthesize the specific details later? This abstraction problem brings us to Voila. That's basically our take. This problem. Voila describes operators. And as a language, it's focused on performance, so it trades some elegance off for that. So as you can see, the code is pretty much verbose. And one of the major features is that it tries to keep data parallelism as alive as possible. Data parallelism, for instance, is very easy to remove, but it's very hard to rediscover. So if you lose it, you have to add some auto vectorization paths, which very often fails, for example, if you have branches in your code. So in voila, this means that operations can operate on vectors of values and they can produce vectors of values. So the bucket lookup gets a bunch of hashes and will produce a bunch of book, uh, buckets. The same for, of course, the not equal here. And as we said, it's easy to remove it. So if you translate it into scalar code, you just say the vector size is one and the whole vectorization thing goes away. And additionally to that, we use predicates instead of branches. 
because branches make data parallelism a very hard problem. A predicate you can imagine as a bit mask that tells you when the predicate is one, you can apply that operation to the vector on, pos on that position. And if it's zero, you can basically better ignore that value. Predicates have certain advantages. They're easy to remove. You can replace them by branches later if you want. You can implement them using bit masks. You can implement them as, select as selection vectors too. So selection vectors basically tell you which indices in vectors are tuples that are alive. And besides that, Voila has a bunch of other features too. So with Voila, we can craft a bigger framework that takes a query represented as a physical query plan with all algorithmic choices already made, expand it into Voila code, and then generate very specific code for that. Let's start with the blue box, the direct backends. They're called direct because they directly generate one specific point in the design space. As we'll see, this is clearly not optimal, but what we can easily generate is scalar, data-centric hyper-like code, and code that would behave like vectorize or back to be. So basically implements an operator with a next interface, and inside this has a bunch of expressions, and evaluates the vectorized expression tree. So since this is clean and optimal, we thought about, hey, can we do this better? And we found a way to do this better that brings us to the orange box future. That's our new take on code generation. So what we do is decompose code generation into a computational part that tells you how expressions should be evaluated, control flow, how, for example, loops should be implemented physically. You can do this using go-tos. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Or you can implement the state machine. And then you have a bunch of auxiliary components like synthesizing prefetching, or you could add buffering if you would want. And this gives you the opportunity to synthesize many different flavors by combining, combining those components. Besides that future is also a bit more powerful than that, because it also allows you to mix different flavors inside of one pipeline, something direct backends couldn't do. So what we can do with Fuji is basically explore the design space of TBCH query 9, a very joint heavy query. So what we see here is just one angle of the picture. What we did is use Fuji to send to the design space by only using one flavor for the whole query. And this means we have different angles to this. One is the computational angle, then we have the control flow angle, and we have the prefetching angle. And what we see here is only the computation angle. What we see is the distribution of the runtimes. We'll see vectorized flavors win this. But on the other side, vectorized flavors also terribly lose, lose this. Second cow, second is rank. We have the synthesized flavors using AVX. And afterwards, we have the eccentric flavors. In those cases, we still have these terrible outliers, like very slow data centric or very slow synthesized flavors. Usually, they happen when we synthesize more elaborate code, which is not really suited in this case. With this, I would basically conclude. We can say that with Voila, we can encode commonly used operators, such as group by, joins, selections, projections, etc. From this encoding, we can synthesize many different flavors. Sadly, this is not fully automatic. But you can add some, for example, new computation time at Fuji, and you can leverage the, new, the whole remaining framework. So if you do this, you can leverage the different control flow techniques, different prefetching. And in our framework, you can leverage the existing TBCH queries that it runs. And at the end, you get top-notch performance. So it's not fully automatic. You have to do a little bit of work, but it's way better than the way it was before. So in the future, we think maybe there should be a more elegant way of encoding this and more elegant than Voila. Maybe one should actually explore how worst case optimal joints could be represented in Voila. So for example, if you want to broaden the scope to graph-like queries. And of course, 
one should do more exploration. <laughs>